Hello everyone, welcome to the 8th race of the NNS CRA F1 series. We have three races remaining. This race right here at Karjala in northern Finland. And then next week, um, there's still some great debate on whether where we're going to go for next week's race. We're just going to find out. But the grand finale is going to be in Indianapolis. That will be the oval Indianapolis, not the road course. So speeds are going to easily reach up into the 220s. So that we're going to have to see how everyone fares out with that race. And that's going to be a uh, double points race. So, hey, you never know. We could end up with some surprise winners. Barney Ward will start on the front row. Let's go to starting lineup. Barney Ward starts on the front row right beside Richard Johnson Jr. Then we have Pichu Walker, who had a dismal race at uh, Phoenix. Then we have Aaron Williams, who also had a dismal race. But he's starting up towards the front of the second row. We have Richard Johnson. Rachel Williams, Aaron Williams' teammate in the uh, HRT, starting right behind him. It's good to see the two teams working together. Another two teams right lined up right nose to tail with each other are the Ferraris with Richard Johnson, Dylan Poteet. Dylan Poteet will be right behind his Ferrari teammate. And then we have Joseph Bryant. Joseph Bryant had a pretty good race. He had suffered mechanical issues early, but he rallied back and finished ninth. So it was a nice race for him. Wayne Scott and Leia Walker will start side each other. We have points leader William Duncan running pretty much mid-pack. We'll see how he does. Seth Cole, who had a pretty dismal race, start back here. Dylan Young, we saw the BMW Sobbers work together the last race. They're not starting beside each other this time, but we'll see how they do. And Richard Johnson the third, Seth Cole's teammate also lined up behind him. So we got teammates, three teams nose to tail with each other. That's pretty cool. Luke Walker, the uh, second of the, actually that's the first of the uh, McLaren starting back here. Then we have Alina Lopez, Dion Scott, and Alina Skinner, Jack Richards, and Justin Perry. Then we have the two uh, Renault starting right close beside each other. We have Amir Hamout and Max Skinner. Final row will be Charles Jackson and Hayden Klein, who had a really, really, really good race at Phoenix. He finished second in his first start. He's starting all the way at the back. We'll have to see if he can work his way up to the front of this nine lap race. So we'll get the cars to roll off for the Grand Prix of Finland. Or the Finland Grand Prix, I'm sorry. Barney Ward, I believe this is his first time starting on the front row. Barney Ward has not had any very much luck in that a McLaren ride. Don't know if he'll be able to maybe get better at it next season. We'll have to see though. It's, this is only a 10 race long season. Barney Ward definitely knows that if he can get some good runs he'll be able to be in the hunt next season. But as we come down the front stretch we'll get the green flag on this very long front stretch. Green flag is now out. We are green. Oh, we're going to see Rachel Williams step out of line. That's better right back there. There's three wide around Amir Hamoud. Oh, wow. Look at the run that Richard Johnson Jr. got through that turn. He's turn through turn one. He's got the preferred line. Here comes behind him Aaron Williams. First few set of turns are right-handers, which benefits everyone who started on the right side. Battle all for second, Barney Ward, Aaron Williams says Richard Johnson Jr. is pulling away. Remember the luck that the Ferraris had early in the series. Richard Johnson going for a win, and then he had two wins, I believe. The Ferraris just dominated the early part of the season. They're not doing so well now, but... Richard Johnson Jr. pulls away. Barney Ward falls to second. Aaron Williams will be third. Rachel Williams is fourth. Pichu Walker settles into fifth. They got the uh, Ferrari teammates doing pretty good. They're right nose to tail still. They've actually managed to catch up to the sort of catch up to the bumper. Uh, it wasn't really called a bumper. The rear end of the Lotus number 19. Oh, car off in the dirt. That was Pichu Walker. Looks like he swung the turn a little too wide. He ended up going out. 
and tagging the uh, in the grass. The right of these are pretty good okay now. The other Lotus is falling like a rock though. Wayne Scott not really having that much good of a run right now. I'm surprised. Never, I, I noticed that this car is not really had much luck. You remember the season opener at Suzuka, he ended up wrecking, I believe, on the very first lap. He's scored in 11th right now. Rick Johnson Jr. is doing pretty good. Nice to see the uh, version mobile cars working their way up to the front. Seth Cole has had a real dismal season. He's back here battling with the points leader. Now, if William Duncan doesn't get any points, then that means that someone could very easily take the points. I believe Rachel Williams is second in the standings. And she's running up towards the front in the fourth position. So she'll get uh, six points if she finishes in that position at the end of the race. They're still trying to run down Richard Johnson Jr. Lotus has just not had a very good season, period. I believe they haven't finished in the top 10 more than a couple times. He's under fire right now from Barney Ward. Ward right on the bump bumper of the 19 Lotus. I would be very careful if I were R Richard Johnson Jr. Barney Ward also having some hard luck earlier in the season. Looking to... Uh, Get his season turned around as we only have this race and two other races. Still some speculation on where the second race is going to be held at, however. Many say it should be held at a oval. However, others think it should be held at another road course. We're here in Finland, so they're speculating that maybe it should be another track somewhere in Europe. We're not sure at this point where it will be held at yet, but we're working on it trying to figure out where it's going to be held at go over to the NCGMRS though the next race is going to be held at California that's going to be a fun race as they were doing some testing speeds got over 210 miles per hour I am getting so psyched for that race I I I'm going to love comment commentary doing commentary for it but I can't, I can't talk to me we're on lap 3 of 9 this is not going to be an extremely long race they've single filed out oh caution is waving Jack Richards is in trouble Oh yeah, there's some wing damage on the front end of that car. Maybe Amir Hamad was also involved. Lena Skinner looks like she was involved too, so maybe it was the two teammates of the uh, Mercedes, Lena Skinner and Jack Richards. Caution is waving. They have just taken it on lap three. So we are under caution on lap number three of nine. Let's go back and see what happened to put us under caution. So we are under full course caution, so there must be a lot of debris. Let's go take a look and see what happened to put us under caution. Well, this wreck actually started with Seth Cole. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but he got into the turn way too hot. And it just snaps loose on him right there. Same goes for Luke Walker. His car also snapped loose, and they both go up and hit the outside wall almost at the same time. Synchronized crashing there. <laughs> Hashtag synchronized crashing. But then you're going to see there is Jack... Now, nah, that's Lena Skinner. Jack Richards up ahead. There's Jack Richards behind the BMW. Hayden Klein's going to get a little contact right there with Seth Cole and then also some contact with Justin Perry. And then right there you see Jack Richards just plowing, plowing into it. And whoa! Holy cow! The uh, Who was that? That was Amir Hamad that got jacked up and airborne. So we had a pretty big pile up over here in the, uh, I believe this is in the turn 9 vicinity. Big, big pile up over here. There's tons of debris around. The full course caution comes, comes, um, excuse me, comes out. And we're in a caution for the first time today. Let's go back to green flag. Someone that didn't want that caution to come out was Richard Johnson Jr. That bunches up the field again. Richard Johnson Jr. leads the way. Barney Ward will be second. Aaron Williams will be third. Fourth will be Rachel Williams. If she has a good enough finish, she might just may inherit the points lead. 
Then we have Joseph Bryant running in fifth. Another great run despite he hasn't had any problems this time though. Last week, of course, he had the engine problem at the beginning of the race. But he's running in fifth today. He's doing pretty good. Dylan Poteet runs in sixth. Then we have Richard Johnson, his teammate, right behind him. Pichu Walker in eighth. Richard Johnson the third and ninth. And in tenth will be Alina Lopez. Wayne Scott will be eleventh. Twelfth will be William Duncan. We're not under green. Or are we under green? No, we are not under green. Okay. We're just catching up. Wayne Scott will be 11th. P William Duncan will be 12th. He needs to pick up two more positions if he wants to leave with a points day. Dylan Young will be 13th. Dion Scott 14th. 15th will be Max Skinner. Hayden Klein in 16th. Justin Perry 17th. Charles Jackson 18th. 19th. Leah Walker. Seth Cole is in 21st. Uh, 20th is Luke Walker. Seth Cole 21st. 22nd will be Lena Skinner. Jack Richards 23rd and 24th. Amir Hamoud. All cars are still on the track and the pace lights are back on the car. So that means that we're going to go another lap under caution. Apparently. So let's go to a quick commercial break. And we'll be back to you when the restart actually happens. When the pace lights go out on the pace car. Stay tuned. Testing one, two, three. Hey, Lewis. Tony. What on a you yeah. need to have a go in my car. Oh, that's awesome. It'd be fun to get you in the stock car, too. I've been dying to talk. Looks awful small from here. I'll give you a hand. Is this the right way I'm doing it? <coughs> OK. You got insurance? I feel like I'm going to get hurt in this thing. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'll be in here the rest of the day if you need me. So. <laughs> Find out why more champions put their trust in the synthetic technology of Mobile One, the official motor oil of NASCAR. Many drivers, one oil, Mobile One. Welcome back to Carliola as we're getting back to green. Coming out of the final turn, and the green flag will come out this time. Pace car has gone into the pit road. We're going to start on lap six this time. Um, the reason why we got put under another caution lap as the green flag comes out is because of uh, one of the trucks that were cleaning up the debris actually broke down. So we had to uh, get that off the track as Barney Ward goes to the lead, and he gets the lead. Barney Ward takes the lead away from Richard Johnson Jr. But here comes, Ra Air, uh, that's actually Rachel Williams for second. And she'll grab second. Rachel Williams just may leave us the points leader. They're backing up behind there too. Yeah, as I mentioned, the reason why we went another caution lap is because of the fact that the truck actually picking up the debris. Uh, it didn't ha really have a breakdown per se, but he ran over some of the debris and had a flat tire and they had to uh, clean up that as well so that they had to put us under another caution lap. But anyway, Sparty Ward retakes the lead on that restart and new second place driver, Rachel Williams. She moved up two positions in about two corners at the beginning of the restart. Now uh, Richard Johnson Jr. is under fire from her teammate and... I believe brother Aaron Williams and the Ferraris are still sticking together Dylan Poteet and J Richard Johnson still one too whoa look out guys don't want to have another incident like we have with Richard uh, no, I mean uh, Seth Cole let's go fun whoa and we just did big pile up again and that is the one of the Williams that's Charles Jackson this time caution will be out and this just may end the race Barney Ward just may walk away with the victory. Coming out of the final corner, I believe Barney Ward may have just won this race. Full course caution is out. And uh, we're still waiting for the uh, NNSCRA to give us official word on whether the race will be restarted or not, depending on whether they can clean up the debris. Joseph Bryant was involved this time, and I believe they have towed, yes they have, they have towed Charles Jackson to the pit lane not good but let's see if they'll get this race restarted let's go take quickly take a look and see what happened to put us under the caution this time it was Joseph Bryant he throws it off the track and trying to avoid it Richard Johnson throws it off the track Pichu Walker throws it off the track and Wayne Scott throws it off the track all going hard into the wall now look at it synchronized wrecking again 
And this time, uh, the Williams car of Charles Jackson's not going to be so lucky. You see the uh, Force India and the Renault get by okay, but then there's Charles Jackson. Oh, he jacks up Joseph Bryant. And Joseph Bryant goes in the air. Whoa, he's on top of the BMW of, I believe that's Justin Perry. No, yes. Is that Justin Perry? Yes, that is Justin Perry. Hard impact with these drivers. So that's what puts us under the caution. And for good reason, we have a lot of debris again in that same corner. So if we go back to green flag is I believe Charles Jackson's day is done and Luke Walker just may have walked away with the victory. The race has been completed while we were looking at the uh, finishing results and there is your winner. Barney Ward picks up the win under caution. This is the f not I think this is the first time that we've no this is not the first time we've ended under caution. Never mind. We had that string of races where we ended under caution but there is your winner, Barney Ward. He wins under the caution flag. Rachel Williams will seize the second position, even though it says third. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Richard Johnson Jr. did get second. They are uh, just pacing around, trying to get back to pit lane. Aaron Williams will be fourth. Fifth will be Dylan Poteet. Sixth will be Richard Johnson. Seventh will be Delina Lopez. Eighth will be William Duncan. Ninth will be Dylan Young. And tenth will be Dion Scott. So, great run for... The number two, Mer uh, I'm sorry, not Mercedes, McLaren of Barney Ward. McLaren with, I believe, its first one of the season. So I see them get on the bandwagon. Well, thank you for watching. We'll uh, be back to you next time with I don't know what track. They're still speculating what where we should have it at. But I am Anthony McCurry. Here come the finishing results and the point standings. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you when we head into next week's race, wherever it may be. Okay, no, no, no.